Hey Dandelions, it's me Sandy, aka Sandy Dandy. And today I'm going to show you guys my Cabbage Patch Kid collection. I uh, have quite a few over here. Um, some of them don't have their original accessories because, yeah, they've got lost over the years. And some of these I have thrifted. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the ones I have. And, yeah, I have loved Cabbage Patch Kids since they first came out. Uh, when they first originally came out, I didn't get one until, like, the next um, the next year because uh, they were totally sold out for quite a while. So, yeah. That, if you guys remember that craze uh, when people just people beat the crap out of each other for to get their kid a Cabbage Patch doll. So, yeah, I remember that. So, yeah, I'm a kid of the 80s. So let's start out with my first original Cabbage Patch doll. Uh, my aunt got this for me. And when I was, let's see, I was, I was like maybe five or six when I got her. And she has her original Cabbage Patch outfit. Let's turn off this light. Okay, she has her original Cabbage Patch outfit, which the elastic is, uh, has left us over the years. So, there's her original Cabbage Patch label. I don't know if you guys can read that. But, yeah, she has, uh, it's a little jumper. And, yeah, I really love her. She doesn't smell like uh, baby powder anymore, but when I first got her, she smelled so much of baby powder. Uh, she smelled so good, and she was wearing uh, the Cabbage Patch original diaper when I got her, uh, but she does not have that anymore because it got lost over the years. She has a little fluff of hair up here on top, and yeah, and she has a um, she has a beauty mark that I I don't know it might have washed off in the washer uh, because right here, okay, yeah, I gave her a star on her face for some reason when I was kids because of Jim. Uh, I was watching the cartoon Jim and I decided, oh, I'm going to give her a little beauty mark. But yeah, her face is kind of, uh, still got a little scum on it from over the years. But um, yeah, I washed them uh, in the washer yesterday and I uh, put them in the dryer. You can uh, dry your cabbage patch kids in the dryer on low. So yeah but her name is uh i named her heather i don't not remember what her original name was but she had one of these big long complicated names uh when i first got her and i was like i can't i can't i can't pronounce that name and i i cried because i couldn't pronounce the name so we so uh my mom said just name her whatever you want to name her so i named her heather because it was the 80s and yeah, do you guys remember a lot of Heathers in the 80s? So, yeah, I named her Heather, and I've had Heather since I was, like, like five or six years old. So, yeah, she's been with me for a long time. She's she's uh, not as quite as old as I am, but she's getting there. So, yeah. So, this is my little Heather. Some of her stitching is... Uh, wore out over the years and she has the original on her butt the uh, xavier roberts but we're not going to show your butt no 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 we're not going to show her butt uh let's see i'll show you these uh little ones that i got from the thrift store and then we'll show uh my original cabbage patch that i had from the 80s and i have one from the same series that i got from a thrift store and i have my uh Cabbage Patch doll that I uh, customized to make her into a reboard. So we'll get to those in a minute. So this is a little tiny Cabbage Patch doll that I found at a thrift store. Um, I washed her underwear, but I didn't put it back on her. Because I couldn't remember which doll that underwear came from. But now I know where it is. So I'm going to put it on her later. So, yeah. So this is a little tiny Cabbage Patch doll. I don't know, remember when these came out. Her hair is kind of matted because it's like that. It's made out of some kind of funny texture. 
but I don't remember when they started these little tiny ones but yeah she is she's got her, her original Cabbage Patch Kids shirt on and yeah I found her at a thrift store and I think I paid 25 cents 50 cents for her and she's got her Xavier Roberts on her butt since she's not wearing her Cabbage Patch Kid underwear I can show you guys her Xavier Roberts thing but yeah she is uh, the tiniest one in my collection and yeah like I said I got her from a thrift store okay this is another one that I found at a thrift store and she's wearing her outfit that was on her at that when I got her from the thrift store I do not think this is a cabbage patch outfit uh, but it was on her so I did not uh, change her clothes and her hair is like uh, got this weird matted texture uh, because, um, I don't know how old she is. I can't see on the back. But, um, yeah, I'd say she's like a one from the 90s. But she has red hair and blue eyes. And she's wearing, uh, Hello Kitty pajamas. Okay. Okay, it, uh, it's whatever the little rabbit from Hello Kitty is. I can't think of the name of that. Uh, but that's what her pajamas are and she also she has all her original like stitching so I'd say she was like from the 90s because uh, like the ones like the uh, ones from the 80s the stitching um, the stitching like wears over the years and it falls out so she's probably a, a, like a newer cabbage patch I got her at a thrift store too I think I may have paid like a buck for her um, at not over a dollar. I didn't pay a do over a dollar for any of my thrifted Cabbage Patch Kids. So, yeah. So, that is her. Uh, she does not have a name. And the little one does not have a name. Um, I'm going to have to think of a name for them sometime. Because I like to name all my dolls. I'm just that kind of person that, yeah, if I see them every day, I want them to have a name. So, yeah. So, there's those are thrifted Cabbage Patch. Okay. This is my designer cabbage patch and i thought oh yeah i am so cool uh when i was nine to get a designer cabbage patch uh, they became they came out with this designer cabbage patch series and she has her original jacket it has like these uh little labels that look like um like stamps and a passport it says cabbage patch kids and let's see straighten out her jacket because I when I washed her I had to wash her jacket too so yeah so she's got the crimpy hair from the 80s which I loved I always wanted crimped hair when I had long hair I always wanted my hair to be crimped she's got a little uh, dimple in her chin and yeah she's not wearing any underwear because her underwear uh, got lost over the years she's got the xavier robert on her butt she's got this cute little um yellow shirt under here and her dress is like a denim because yeah in the 80s we had a lot of denim on denim and she's still got some of her original stitching she's got her original shoes and socks hey as you can see on the bottom i did a little writing with a ink pen uh, in the CPK so yeah but yeah she is she's got a little backstory too um, her name is Amanda Joe I think Amanda Joe was her original name uh, but my aunt uh, had got into a fight uh, at a, a Kmart with a woman over this cabbage patch doll because um, my mom um, my mom sent my uh, aunt since my aunt was going to Kmart, she asked her to uh, look for a designer cabbage patch for me for Christmas. And this woman tried to take this out of my aunt's car. And they got into a little bit of feud over this cabbage patch doll. So, yeah, I love her so much. Uh, she is went to the hospital with me when I was sick as a child. So, yeah, she's been through a lot with me. So, I love Amanda Jo. And Max is barking again. So this is Amanda Joe. 
Yeah, she's one of my favorites. Uh, I loved all the names um, of the names that I could pronounce as a kid. I loved the Cabbage Patch Kid names because I came up with some cool names. So uh, let's put her over here for a minute. I'll show you the big cabbage patch that I got from the same series. Okay, Max! Okay, he just, every time I start filming, he starts barking at me. So. Yeah, she has a designer cabbage patch too, but she does not have her shoes. She does not have her socks. She doesn't have her underwear. So she's got her CPK on her butt. But. She's got this cute jacket that has hearts all over it. Um, let's see if we can... I'll uh, show you guys her shirt first. And then I'll get her. Okay, Max! Cool it! And then I'll uh, velcro her jacket back. So she's got a polka dotted yellow uh, jacket. Polka dot yellow and white shirt. Okay. And her skirt matches her jacket, which is really cool. Uh, she has the big Dolly Parton hair, which uh, you remember in the 80s, uh, they said the, clo the bigger the hair, the closer to God. So she has a lot of it. And she had this little, um, this little shoestring in her hair when I um, got her from the thrift store. So I think I paid... Uh, about like seven. I, I don't think I even paid a dollar for her uh, when I found her at, um, at a local thrift store. So I didn't pay that much for her. And she, I found out she was a designer cabbage patch, and I already had one designer cabbage patch. So yeah. And she was like looking at me like this when I seen her in the thrift store, and she was like, "Please take me home and love me." And yeah, I took her home. I have not named her. I still have not named her. Uh, yeah, but I'll have to name her something. I might call her Dolly because she's got all this uh, pretty, like, Dolly Parton hair. So, yeah, she, her name might be Dolly. Okay, let's pull her dress, her skirt down for modesty reasons. Okay, and this Cabbage Patch has a backstory, too, because, look, she's got arms. And I, uh, I took a, a reborn body and thrifted um, arms from a uh, doll at a thrift store and I made a reborn cabbage patch okay so but she has a uh, backstory because she belonged to um, my, her name is Chadina Rosalie she belonged to um, uh, my my dog that I had um, a while back uh, she was Max's sister. She was in the first litter of puppies that his mother had. And uh, she had this Cabbage Patch doll. This was her Cabbage Patch doll. And the body kind of got torn and stuff over the years. And I wanted to remake this Cabbage Patch doll. And her hair is not like the original hair because she had the original yarn hair. And over the years of Chedina carrying her around the house, her hair kind of lost its something so I got her this wig it's an American girl wig it is blonde and uh yeah I thought she would look better as a blonde than a brunette but her name is Chidina Rosalie you can see some of the marks on her where uh, my dog carried her around over the years she's got dimples and she has teeth which I love I she's the only one in my collection that has teeth and I remember, uh, I don't know if you guys remember when the Cabbage Patch doll they had, the one that had the two teeth and the braces. I always thought, yeah, she's only got two teeth. Why she need braces? But, yeah. So, she is my my uh, experiment to make a Cabbage Patch Reborn, which I love. And she's, like, really special in my collection because she reminds me of my, uh, I named her after my uh, dog that owned her. Uh, Chidina Rosalie so yeah that is her name and she is one of my favorites uh, yeah and so yeah that is my CPK collection um, I love my Cabbage Patch Kids uh, 
I decided to give them a bath uh, yesterday when I was doing some other clothes because I just wanted to get them out and show them to you guys because I love them and I missed um, I missed having them in my uh, in my living room because you know there's something for my childhood. Some of them are. Uh, two of them are from my childhood. The rest of them I just collected over the years because I am one of those people when I see a doll and it like speaks to me in the, yeah, not literally. I'm not one of those creepy people that has those creepy haunted dolls. But when I see a doll in a, a thrift store and it just like looks at me and I'm like, you gotta come, you gotta come home with me because, yeah. So that is what uh, these thrifted cabbage patches meant to me. So yeah, guys, uh, not much more to tell you guys. Uh, I'm watching Grotesquery uh, on FX. If you guys have not seen it, um, they're into the third and fourth episode uh, now. Um, this week was third, their third and fourth episode, so they did four episodes, and it is crime drama about a serial killer that sort of does, um, he does, like, uh, religious, um, uh, uh, themed, um, murders. He, like, poses the people in, like, religious themed scenes, and it is really interesting, so if you like crime dramas, you'll like grotesquery. Uh, yeah, it's on FX. So it's, yeah, I, I I had a couple times trying to pronounce that, but yeah, I I literally I'm really got into that. So yeah, cause I like the all the true crime ro uh, dramas. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna let you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.